Everyone, thanks so much for stopping by today. Uh, today we're going to talk about communication. There's so much we could say about communication in relationships, at the workplace, um, to yourself, how we communicate to ourselves. Written communication and body language. There's just so much about communication that we could talk about. But today I want to share some stories about how I found my voice and how I was able to set some healthy boundaries and being able to speak up for myself. So if you're like me and you have a hard time speaking up for yourself, um, stay tuned and listen to the end. And I would love to share some stories about and some tools on how I was able to find my voice. For those who don't know me, I'm, my name is Sarah. I'm an artist, entrepreneur, and best-selling Amazon author. So yeah, about 15, 20 years ago, I was a person who didn't speak up for myself. I had a hard time telling people no. Uh, whenever people asked me to do something, I would just find a way to do it. Even though I was a very tired single mom, I was a single parent. I was 1,500 miles away from my family and doing everything on my own. But when somebody from church or a neighbor or a friend asked me to help them with something, I would just automatically do it because I felt like that was the right thing to do. And my motives were right. My heart was in the right place. But what ended up happening was I was overextending myself and it depleted my energy. It depleted my mindset. It depleted um, from time that I should have been giving back to my children or even myself and, and you know, giving back to my own personal health and, and giving back into my, my own life so that I can have a full cup as you hear people say, having a full cup, how, if you don't have a full cup, how can you give to others, right? So that was a struggle that I had about 15, 20 years ago. And I learned the hard way. This is a lesson that uh, I had to, had to learn a few times and unfortunately um, was taken advantage of. And, um, you know, for example, one story I remember, I was going to uh, a church and um, the the leadership there were constantly asking me to clean the church building month after month after month to clean the church building. Well, it made sense because I had a house cleaning business and um, my children were away for the summer at their dad's house. But what really was going on is they were trying to control me through um, basically having me do excessive work for, for them. And I knew it was going on, uh, but again, because I had a hard time saying no or that I just couldn't do it that month for whatever reason, um, I said yes. And so every week I would go in and clean and overextend myself. And even there were times where I would just even clean things that really weren't went above and beyond the normal duties of that because I wasn't getting paid for it. It was just volunteer. Which again, I, I think in and of itself is the right thing to do. Um, but when it got to a point when it depleted my, um, when it got to a point where I was being taken advantage of and it became a controlling aspect of this leadership, um, that's when the line was crossed. And again, I knew it. I knew it in my heart and I knew it in my mind. I knew that they were taking advantage of me, but I had a hard time speaking up for myself and saying, hey, I, I've been cleaning for the last three or four months. I think it's somebody else's turn. I think what happens when you get in that situation, if you're like me, um, you know, you have this inner turmoil and you know what's going on where you're being taken advantage of. And it's, it's this conflict in your mind and you're constantly thinking about like, I should say something, should I say something? How should I say it? And it's just back and forth and it's hard to be able to learn to communicate what your needs are in a healthy way at that point, because then all of a sudden it, you get frustrated and then your emotions get tied into it. And then that's when things are said that you regret later and maybe you get a little heated and upset and things can come out wrong. And so some things that I learned how to do and to be able to communicate early on when things happen, and that's the best way to communicate is just be open and honest and upfront. And then you end up saying, you don't say things that you regret later, right? So again, if you're like me and you have a hard time setting boundaries or used to, I've been able to find my voice and, and be able to speak up for myself and communicate in a healthy, loving way. But if you haven't quite gotten those, that skill set yet, 
Um, again, it's so important to be able to identify what's going on and evaluate. If you just are in a position where you feel you're being taken advantage of, you're overextending yourself, you're feeling depleted or your energy level is so low and you just feel like you're being taken advantage of over and over and over again, um, it's okay to communicate that and first identify what, what do you need? What do you, what, what is a healthy ratio, right? Where, um, for me, I needed to, to have some time to, um, do some hobbies. Like when I was a single parent, I didn't have any hobbies where I, before when I was younger, growing up, I did art and I did, um, sports and I did all kinds of things like that. And, um, when I became a single parent, I, I got rid of all that and I shouldn't have, I should have been able to kept, keep some things to, um, some things that I enjoyed so that again, I could have a uh, more fulfilled life and have that work-life balance and have that overall balance in your life of feeling satisfied and having a well-rounded life. So again, if this resonates with you, please subscribe, share this with somebody who might need to hear it. Um, I just appreciate your time today. I just thank you so much for stopping by. If you want to connect with me a little bit more, uh, feel free to check out some of the links that I have below this video. Sending you so much love. Thank you. Mwah.